Hello, this is Steve with Pro Tools PC, and on this video I wanted to talk about the new Accent drum player along with Oceanway drums. So I've been using this now for a few weeks since it was released on Windows a little while back, and I've really been enjoying it, so I thought I would just kind of do an overview kind of of the player itself and then of Oceanway drums. So the interface itself, a good chunk of it's pretty obvious as to what's going on, you know, the overall volume. This is the actual playback and stop for the groove player. Under memory here, this is actual how much in memory the samples you have loaded are using. In this case, I don't have anything loaded, so it's not uh, using any. Tempo, this is the host tempo here. So in this case, you know, Pro Tools, default tempo, 120, where the current cursor is sitting inside of Pro Tools. And over here, the perspective. So you got the drummer perspective or you got the audience perspective. And under preferences here, uh, getting started, you pretty much have to start here at this window. So the first thing you have to do the first time you launch it is go to add library. And then from there, you would navigate to your sound library, in this case, Oceanway Drums. And then you would also do an add library to get all of the MIDI grooves. And then over here, just some more preference settings. But most notable here is it has the ability to load VST plugins that you can use within the mixer. So I think the best place to start would be here at the stage view. Um, this gives you the ability to add your kit pieces. You can assign sounds to the kit pieces and some little pitch tweaking, you know, things like that. So there's a couple options. You can just click on the kit piece you want to add and it will be added or you can come over here and just load a template and it'll uh, basically is telling you here it's going to delete anything you've created when you do this and switching to preview mode preview modes uh, what lets you start listening to and assigning samples and such afterwards so it'll take us directly to it and just for note preview mode is right over here you can toggle on and off of it so what you can do is you can just select your kit piece. So in this case, we'll just say the kick, and then you can come over here and start going through kicks. You can just click on the kit piece here to listen to it if you want to. And we can come over here to articulations. And so now we can play and listen to these different articulations. So. We can also, as I mentioned earlier, adjust the pitch and trim is just the overall level of, um, it'll affect everything. So all the, into all the bleed mics, like the overhead rooms, all that type of stuff, it affects the total level of everything that that uh, piece goes to, but that's also adjustable over here in the mixer. So I went ahead and I got a kit loaded. Um, so we can come over here to the mixer window. So the first thing real quick is I would obviously, I need to link my two kicks. So what I would do, um, we have kick one here. So we can see kick one is assigned to map kick one. So we can go to kick two, assign kick two to map one. So now they'll both be triggered from the same note. On the channel strip, if we click on the instrument heading, um, again, it'll kind of go through some of the familiar stuff we looked at in the stage view. Uh, so we got pitch, our articulation, and then you can also come in here and turn on the instrument ADSR and go through and adjust your attack and decay, things like that if you want to. Uh, again, this is trim, so this controls the overall level. And then we have a phase button for that channel. And then here is, um, if you're in the mixer view, how you can go through and change assign sounds in this view. So if you click on the folder, it'll uh, the pop-out will come out, and then you can change kit pieces here as well. So we have an auxiliary over here, so that's a send to that aux. They come default muted, you can just unmute them and then adjust level, or you can also, of course, send them pre-fader. 
however you want to do that. If you notice, we have our inserts tab here. So all the channels have inserts and you have the ability to either add an, an internal effect, one that it comes built in with. Let's expand our screen here. And uh, it comes with a few different plugins. So we got gain filter, four band EQ, compressor, limiter, gate, reverb. So say in this case, I wanted to add a reverb. Hit effects plus uh, for add effects. And then we can come over here and make our adjustments. And then we also have a AB button. So of course we can compare different settings between the two. Um, you can add and chain multiple effects. So we could add a compressor. And then you can also add any of your VST plugins. So say if I wanted to add, you know, the new arouser plugin, we can pull up all of our VST stuff in here as well. And then also back to our channel. So say we're back on our kick one. Under our bleeds, we can control our overhead sends, room sends. So how much level you want to send into them if you want them individually. And then, you know, flip left and right if you wish. And then also, you can adjust the phase going into them. And like before, we got our same insert. And then here allows us to trigger the sample. It is velocity sensitive as well, which is nice. So the lower you hit it, the less velocity, higher the higher velocity. And everything else is pretty well normal um, volume solo mute. Um, the only thing to be aware of is uh, like a lot of VI plugins, you do have individual out, so you can run uh, individual out so they can have their own channels uh, in Pro Tools, for instance. So what I've been doing is like in my other VIs, just create an aux in Pro Tools, set the output here to whatever the input is on the Pro Tools channel, and then just do the mixing and everything within Pro Tools. So most of the kit pieces are pretty well standard as in like all of your kicks for instance you have a kick in mic and a kick out mic your snares will each have three channels so a snare top snare bottom and then a heavily compressed snare mic and then in that same regard um, our room channels are slightly different whereas the room two channel for instance feels like it's a really heavily compressed channel on the room mics and then uh, everything else is pretty well straightforward for the mixer. Uh, we have the groove player. So these are um, MIDI loops, basically. Um, one quick thing to note here uh, when you default it is that the sync to, so you got sync to host and sync to groove. So if you're on sync to host, all the grooves are gonna play back at your host tempo, which in this case would be 120 BPM. If I want it to play back at the actual groove tempo where it was designed to play back at, um, which is under, you can see them, kind of under here or over here, you would set that to groove. So uh, what, what is nice too is you do have the ability in this case to drag out the grooves and drop them right into uh, your Pro Tools MIDI channel or instrument track, whatever you're using, and edit them, do whatever you want to with them in there uh, instead of trying to configure them um, inside the actual VI player. And then down here, uh, we have a few settings to slightly... Um, tweak the playback of the groove natural tight rush lazy and then more of like a swing setting we can turn on as well so here at the mapping window the midi mapping window there's not a whole lot to say here um i've had to do a decent amount of work in here to make stuff match up you know with other songs that i've brought accent into but everything's pretty quick to change you can just come over here and assign say kick one and then uh, there's your, so say it's number 36, you can go through here and find 36 and find the actual note it is assigned to. And then you can change it to another note, delete it off of a note, move it. Pretty, pretty simple work. Over here we have, you know, our velocity curve with our velocity settings. And here we have a log where it will uh, record as you trigger MIDI data. 
And then just a couple minor settings here under general. Feel free to contact us with any questions or comments. And thank you for watching the video. Mm -hmm.